Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to create a halftone effect in Adobe Illustrator. Here's a mascot design I've been working on. I have the character outline and its individual parts separated. I'm starting with the halftone effect from this section. Select and go to the effect menu, copy and then paste it in front. Then open the gradient panel and apply a basic black and white gradient. Open the transparency panel and change its blend mode to multiply. Then go to the effect menu, pixelate and color halftone. In the halftone panel, we have max radius as well as four channels. The max radius determines the size of the halftone dots, a smaller radius results in smaller circles, while a larger radius creates bigger circles. To achieve a consistent halftone effect, ensure that all four channels have the same radius value. Set a max radius of 40 and 10 for all channels, and click OK. The halftone effect has been applied to it. This effect is customizable. Select the gradient tool and drag to reposition it. Additionally, you can modify the maximum radius and channel settings using the appearance panel. This isn't a vector effect. Later, I'll show you how to convert it into a vector, so stay tuned. Now I apply it to other parts. Speeding up the process to save time. To convert this into a vector, select the effect, go to the object menu, and click on Rasterize. Use these settings and hit OK. Then go to the object menu, Image Trace, and Make. Click on the Image Trace option button to open the trace options. Here in the Advanced section, we have Ignore Color option, click on it. Now this is a vector, allowing you to easily change its color. This is how you can convert all of them to vector. And that's it for today. I hope you like it, share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel. Where I upload graphic related tutorials. Thank you for watching.